Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, Traffic Operations Manager for the City of Roswell Transportation. We are on Lake Charles Drive, and what we have behind me is a 35 mile per hour speed limit sign that's probably 15 years old. It needs to be replaced. And we also have the Adopt the Road program sign on top and the sponsor plate for the Mooring family. So you're going to see my crews taking down this sign and putting up brand new signs. We make all the roadway signs in the city of Roswell, uh, stop signs, speed limit signs. Uh, we can also make custom signs. Uh, signs tend to have a life of approximately 12 years. If it's a, say a stop sign that's knocked down, we consider that an emergency. If it happens at 2.30 in the morning, we have guys on call and we'll come out and replace that stop sign. Well, we, we have pre-made stop signs or either we can make a stop sign on the spot. Having a sign shop in, in Roswell Transportation benefits the city, uh, mostly because of, of cost. If you were to take a, a stop sign and you're gonna buy it retail, uh, you might pay $75 approximately for a 30 inch stop sign, where we, we buy in bulk, uh, we can make that stop sign for $12, $13. And it also helps to have the sign shop, since I have the personnel, we can respond to the citizens' request uh, right away. And if, if we didn't have the internal sign shop, we would have to contract it out. This is all the signs out of the manual uniform traffic control devices. And we constantly refer to this because when we make a sign custom made, we want to follow the standards and make sure it's the proper size and the proper color and the proper legend you know, or, or the proper wording. So we always refer to the manual uniform traffic control devices. And this is Robert Goody, one of our shop foremen. And we're here today to show you how we take a sign from the computer, print, and fabricating it over on the tables. So what Robert's doing now, he's using a, a software that has all the signs out of the manual and uniform traffic control devices. We have printers behind me that where we can make any standard sign, we can also make the custom signs which we do constantly and we'll be showing you one today. This cutter is cutting out a custom sign. This is not a sign from the manual, but this is a sponsor plate for our Adopt the Road program. It goes underneath the graphic sign for the Adopt the Road. And he'll show you how he weeds out the letters out of the green background. The green background would be put on top of a white sheeting that's on the aluminum blank and the white is what comes through so that you can read the sign. When we're making a sign we, we have blanks and it's just aluminum, it's bare aluminum and um, certain sizes for the different certain signs and we'll take that that blank and we'll put the reflective material. The white is what's reflective and then uh, we may put on top of it red, yellow, or green, or, or just put the black letters on, on top of the reflective sheeting. Robert's going to attach a 35 mile per hour speed limit decal to the aluminum blank. So that's, that's the finished product. And we'll take this sign out to the field and install it on the street. Signs are attached to the pole uh, just with a, a bolt and a nut. Uh, we can use uh, theft resistant uh, hardware if for some reason a sign keeps getting stolen from a certain area. Um, there's, if the sign's gonna be overhead, there's, there's brackets to attach it to the wire that hangs down, you, you bolt the sign to that bracket. But uh, basically it's just bolted to the post. What you just saw is our sign crews changing out an old sign to a new sign. So this new sign behind me the new 35 will be here for probably 12 to 15 years, but we put these stickers on back of each sign that we install. And this tells us that it was installed in 2021 and we stamp out the month. So come 2031, we can look at this sticker and see that the sign is 10 years old. So that's how traffic signs are done.